this part is outdoors what, and uh, many other little hints for your uh, four-year-old teachers. We move quickly, we line up, get the jackets on, three teachers are out with the line and one set up juice, no visiting. Teaching to skip takes persistence. Hop on one foot, balance every day. Hop, jump over something each day. This is all outside. When you take the children out, you don't just let them go and play. First, we do our exercises together. Be sure to stay with the child who can't do balance board, and that will help. Free play. The children don't really enjoy it. They are happy when they are accomplishing something, according to Ms. Cardin. They need great control over the physical before they can do academics. Sit with feet together and dresses down. This is, will help them socially later. So they need to learn how to sit. At uh, rest, after rest, you can ask them if they listen to the sounds outdoors, what they heard, and then you can listen to Ms. Carden's tapes. Sometimes the children at the beginning of the year have difficulty leaving their parents. So you just tell the mother, she'll be fine in two seconds, just run along. And if the child enters crying, don't pour a little thing to them. Just say, we're having the best time, and give a lot of love and a ball of clay. Put it in their hand, and show them the pictures on the board. If they're really unhappy, lift up uh, them on your lap for a little bit, especially the threes, and ask them questions. Do they have a cat? Do they have a dog? Take their minds off themselves. If a child arrives in a party dress, then the child is in control at home. Never discipline a child yourself. Always take them to the director if there's a problem. Uh, we also do uh, directions. Take turns going up to the board. Each child will stay in the group and then one child at a time as you ask them to do three things. We don't want them to have more than three directions. <clears throat> so you can have an educational board up and they can go point to the rabbit on the board, turn around once and skip back to the table. Always have some children's work up in your room. And then you can get pictures from uh, items, uh, ideas in your manuals. The dollhouse we have, they need to learn the furniture. They uh, do it in French also. And uh, we always leave the table set nicely. The other thing we do that is watching the clock. Many of the uh, schools really uh, like to tell us that their graduates always think of the, watching the clock in the morning, thinking on their goals for the day, but in the little ones, it teaches them to sit still for a minute. You can start with half a minute, and everybody just sits and watches the clock, and it's a quiet time, and they, they do love it. You teach what you are. You get what you accept. Expect respect from the children. Seeing the character trait and where it is going is important. At the end of each morning, look at yourself objectively and decide how or what to improve. And we always encourage the children to use toys for what they were meant to be. At rest time, uh, another thing you can do is listen to the French. And remember, teaching is a wonderful, wonderful occupation. You're doing so much for these children because you have the Cardin Method.